Welcome to Online Safety for Grades 3 through 5. As part of the Child Help series called Helping Kids Speak Up and Be Safe, the video that follows is a great way to start the conversation about staying safe online. Additional resources on the Child Help website can help keep the learning and the conversation going. The internet and social media apps are awesome! I can learn things, play games, and see and talk to friends. Oh, look! Someone's messaging me! Hey, I like your post. You seem cool. Yup, that's me! Way cool! Do I know you? Not yet. Ooh, and a wink emoji. I go to the high school near your school. Wow! Somebody older wants to be friends? That would be cool, but wait. How do you know where I go to school? I've seen it in your pics and the geotags of where you are, and a smiley face. Hmm, that's creepy. I gotta talk to mom about privacy settings. People shouldn't be able to see exactly where I am, right? So, where do you like to hang out after school? Maybe we can meet up. Oh, now that is creepy. There's no way I'm falling for it. I don't know you. I'm blocking this dude. It really helps to remember the child help, speak up, be safe, safety rules I learned. It's my body. That means I should have privacy. I can share with friends, but I'm not sending a picture or personal information, like where I live, to anyone I don't know. Ask an adult if I'm safe. If somebody's trying to get me to do something online, I don't have to decide if it's okay or not. I can ask a safe adult. I have choices. I can get away from people or sites that seem strange, like I blocked that creeper. Tell someone. I can tell a safe adult if there's something weird online or if someone tried to trick me. I can also click on report if someone bullies me or my friends. And even if I do get tricked somehow, it's never my fault. That's the final rule. I can always get help from a safe adult. Thanks for joining us for this video about online safety. Be sure to check out the rest of the Child Help series, Helping Kids Speak Up and Be Safe, and additional resources at childhelp.org.